All right. Well, I have a whole bunch of videos and a whole bunch of content that I need to plan over the next few weeks here. And these things you're seeing in front of me are some of the first things that I'm grabbing to help me prepare for that, for the pre-production side of things. And it saves me hours of editing time. Let me show you how. Also, this is the first time uh, clicking on one of my videos. Hi, hope you're doing well, hope you're doing good. Welcome to the channel. Super stoked to have you. We make lots of content on video work and content creation. Now, what do these have in common? An iPad and some notebooks? It's all about storyboarding. Now, what is storyboarding? Storyboarding is a sequence of drawings, typically with some directions and dialogue, representing the shots planned for a movie or television project, or what I like to say for anything content creation-wise for videos that we make. Now, I know we, we understand like what a storyboard even means, but let me show you how I draw mine out. And trust me, you do not have to be the greatest artist of all time. That is not how this works. Uh, most of mine are pretty crude drawings of stick figures, but hey, it works. So let me show you quickly. I'm just drawing on my iPad right now. I tend to draw in my actual main notebook that you, you see here, but it's easier to show you on my iPad because I can record the screen. So let's go into that. So right away, let's just pick an example of, of what I'm doing. Let's say this is for some sort of advertisement for an outdoor clothing company. This is gonna be brief. I'm not gonna go through all of it because we're coming up with it on the spot, but really all I'm doing, and uh, I use, if you're wondering what my drawing app is, it's Notability. Love this app. I've used it for lots of different notes over the, over, over the time, over the, the years. So I recommend that if you're looking for an app on your iPad or something to draw on. So we're just gonna draw some boxes. We're gonna come in here, we're gonna draw one box. We're gonna draw a couple more boxes. Again, this is supposed to be quick and to the point. I wouldn't stress too much about it there. Okay, let's just do that. Maybe it'll hold itself perfect. Again, these don't have to be uniform. All I know is that this is gonna be shot one. We're gonna just label it like this. This is gonna be shot two. This is gonna be shot three, right? And I just like drawing arrows between them so that way I understand how everything's going. And I have a thousand things turning on around me. My sincerest apologies. Back to it. So in shot one, uh, maybe we're gonna want, I don't know, this is off the cuff, so just bear with me. We want our person who our main actor is. Uh, maybe, maybe it's, it's a, it's a, let's say it's Arcturex or something, for example, and maybe they're gonna wear a hat and the hat's gonna have the logo on it and we're gonna have them uh, walking up a bit of a mountainous terrain, right? Maybe we're gonna have an upward shot of them and I put like, hey, this is gonna be camera right here, right? Upward shot of them going there. And then the next scene maybe is going to be a, a real close up of that, of that hat, right? And we can see like the logo on their hat. We're gonna do this and we're gonna say close up. Again, this is rough, this is crude. We can, we can adapt as we, as we do this over time, right? And then lastly, maybe we want like a really cinematic open wide drone shot, right? And we're gonna have this like big ridge line with the little person walking up. Uh, we'll have like mountainous terrain in the, in the background as, as, as that. Uh, maybe a little bit of foreground like tree here or something. You know, just something that feels cinematic. And we're gonna have, you know, I might label this as a, as a drone shot or something like that, just so we are all aware of what we're using for it. And that's really what storyboarding is. It's as simple as that and just drawing out what you have in mind and working through it. And that way I can go, okay, how do I transition from shot one to shot two? All right, shot three is pretty simple. It's just gonna be a pull out, uh, big shot of them walking up a mountain. And that's simple. And this also helps you choose locations and so many other things. And what I love about this is you're doing all this in the pre-planning phase. You're not worrying about it the day of when you're with the client or you have limited time with a certain individual all those things. I feel like there's nothing worse than when you're filming for a client and you kind of like freeze like, oh, what do I film next? I, I don't know. Refer back to your storyboard, refer back to that. And what I love about this, and one thing I do is I'll take what I have on my iPad and I'll create a shot list of it. And then I usually, on the actual day of when I'm filming, I have one of these little field notes guys in here that I make a big checklist of, hey, these are the shot lists I need for this specific shoot. And I go in, I take my lovely blue pen here and I go check, 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 whatever it's going to be. Now, you might be wondering, Josh, do we have to get field notes or notepads? No, by all means, uh, you can totally 100% use your phone. It's just not something I enjoy doing. I like physically scratching off on a notebook uh, what I have done and what I have now I'm keeping everything organized and it's even to the point where I've used this uh, concept for lots of different videos for for weddings uh, I used it for a music video which was quite uh, chaotic I must say uh, it was 
super, super busy, but it was a lot of fun too. Uh, and honestly, without this tactic, as you can see here, of where I drew everything under the sun to happen and every shot was planned out, man, it saved me hours of editing time. If anything, just save yourself in post-production too. Uh, having a shot list makes the editing so much easier. I already know what shot is going where, I already kind of have an idea on the transition, and again, this isn't to say that you can't get creative on the day of, maybe you feel inspired or you see something happening and you wanna capture it, by all means, go for it. But I find like always reverting back to the plan you have saves you so much time in the actual production and the post-production and it leaves a little bit of that stress. You know what's happening, you would have already come up with these ideas. And one of my favorite things about doing this is that I don't have to necessarily be sitting in my office, right? I'm not tethered to my computer laptop screen typing away or editing away. This is something you can do anywhere. And whether maybe you're going to a coffee shop to get out of the office, I like going outside. Uh, sometimes I just go sit at a bench at my local park and, and work through what those videos are going to be. And it's nice to get out, out of your normal and get into a different place. And sometimes that helps spark creativity. For me over these next few weeks, what I've just shown you is exactly what I'm going to be doing. I have a whole bunch of content to plan and work through, which I am excited. Uh, but I want to give myself the best possible chance on the day I'm filming and afterwards to save as much time as we can. So hey, invest early on, put in some time in your pre-production, storyboard as best you can. As you can see, they can be crude stick figures with rough arrows and stuff like that. Make yourself a shot list, it's so crucial, and get out there and make some cool stuff. You will thank yourself later, trust me, I've done it so many times, I'm like, man, I'm so glad that I did some of that pre-planning because this project would have been a nightmare otherwise, okay? And yeah, let me know in the comments below, hey, maybe you do something different with your storyboarding. I would love to hear it. I think what's cool about this community is that we can talk to one another. And I love to talk with you all. I try to comment on everything and every video. So please leave some comments down below. If you have tips for me, I'd love to, if you have questions to answer them. But yeah, let's storyboard. Let's make some shot lists. Let's go out there and make some sweet videos. And yeah, it's gonna be so much easier for you. So I'm excited. Awesome. All right, that's it. We'll see you later.